You're rolling your sleeves up until I know. Mm -hmm. Go high. Uh, you can get it up there. Medium mm -hmm. high. Can't yeah. see your face. You I don't want to see my face. <laughs> you can just. People can see how rapidly the weight came back when they're all saying, Man, you're getting thin. Oh, uh, you, like your picture you posted? Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. You should post some now. Nope. Get some comments. Not happening. All right, smile money said, let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> so, what are we doing? We're cooking sausage and pasta. Yeah, well, what's it called? I don't know, I just call it sausage and pasta. So it was just, it was thrown together. This is your little invention, right? Yeah, other people have made it. They call it different things, but it's sausage and pasta. It's got sun-dried tomatoes. It has, um... A little bit of a creamy sauce, spinach. Mm -hmm. I gotta so, chop this shit up. Yeah. Like for the tooth killer. Carl says gravy or sauce? It's sauce. Whatever you want to call it. I was raised to call it gravy. I think it's a uh, East Coast thing. I want to explain this one more time and I'm never going to explain it again. The reason why some people call it gravy is because sometimes when people make they put pork chops in it and a lot of beef so it kind of gets it like a great call it spaghetti sauce gravy but you just call it sauce it says on the can so what do you have in the pan i have no idea some kind of meat so that is italian sweet sausage you could yeah. use sweet or hot or mix the two it's one pound Mm -hmm. So we're just breaking it up, cooking it kind of like you would brown beans. We're, we're browning it, right? Yep. Car so caramelizing. For now that we've got some good color and it's frozen up, you can go ahead and add... The onions? Yes. Onions? Yes, the onions. I'm going to back this away. The whole thing? Yes. Damn. Put all that in there. All right. Uh, Sempra Avanti. Yes, absolutely. There is garlic over there waiting. Fresh, crushed garlic. But uh, for right now, we're going to saute, mix that up. We're going to get those onions to be clear. Yeah. We have our water ready for the pasta. As a matter of fact, you need to add salt to that. When? Please. You can put it in there now. The pasta water? Yeah. I'm, saying, yeah. All right. I'm following you, honey. We all have our system. Yeah. I just didn't have to get awesome. everything ready. Yes, this is food fit for the goddesses. Really? Who said that? No, they said food fit for the gods. I said food fit for the goddesses. No, it's not goddesses. Gods are first. Never. They are. Yeah. Chef D says pasta puts weight on me. <laughs> Go run around the block a couple times. Listen, I can eat a lemon and it'll put weight on me. My body just collects fat in any way it can. There we go. Now what? Let them onions get soft? Mm hmm. <coughs> so Roger's not here. I don't know why. I get he Is he eating or sleeping? They're the two things he does. Yeah, same as you. Not really. But you do make some great holsters, so. Yeah, I'm trying to. So while that's doing that, I got a toothache. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Mm-hmm. Like a lot. Uh, while that's doing that. Keep it moving. Keep this moving? Yeah. I was going to show them some stuff I have on the table. Oh, yeah, no, we are not we are not going to dump that Kraft macaroni, that Kraft Parmesan cheese in a bag. Uh, someone sure. wants to know if you've been in contact with Chuck from Hollow Point. I got that question last time. Um, Sorry, didn't realize. Uh, I don't know. He's he like, I don't know if he's ill or what. Just he just like, I think YouTube was getting on his nerves. Yeah. I think he just stopped for a while. Which I don't blame him because there are some really fucking assholes. But that really calmed down a lot. Back in uh, 2010, it was horribly nasty. But now it's just not as good. I don't know why. 
Dawah. Keep it mixing. A few more seconds so you can uh, put the garlic in and put okay. the seasoning. Give it a good mix. Is there any more pink on there? Nah, let me... Okay. You want to make it brown a little bit? No, once you put the seasoning in, then you're going to brown a little bit. You're going to oh, turn okay. it up higher. I got this. So there's no more pink in there. You can go ahead and pour the garlic in. What that is is three smaller size cloves, fresh minced. Get all that out of there. Oh, yeah. What else? Uh, you have a mixture of seasoning over there, which is garlic, Italian seasoning, uh, which is a little bit of oregano, uh, parsley, but predominantly garlic. So you can sprinkle that all over, mix it all in. Okay. Yep. And then the very last thing is some fresh basil that's chopped. Fresh basil. How much, how much basil leaves did you do? And you can turn that Four. down to low. Four. We're going to let it soak up all that seasoning. All for less. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Try to mix that up. Mm -hmm. Sweet Italian sauce, right? Yeah. Oh, right. I wish there was smell of vision. I'm right there with you, DMX. That would be amazing. DMX. I think that, I was, uh, that was a bike I had when I was a kid. Or was that a BMX? That's a BMX. Spawn so, says he miss, misses Chuck fixing guns with a hammer. Oh, I know. He's very steady. Very steady hand, too. So, now that that's soaked up all the flavor, you think? Already? I don't know. I'm asking you. you I don't like raw onion, so can we let it cook? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then turn it up a hair more. Don't forget you're going to put it on a plate with the... Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I like the onion soft. I don't want no crunchy onions. It grosses me out. So while that's doing that... Kitten cat. Cats like sausage. I don't know who that is. Yeah, good to know. <laughs> um, your cat's picky. She only yeah, she eats... <laughs> she only eats... Uh, what is it? Friskies or something? Yeah, I still got that bold spot on my horn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I tested a new clippers I got. Yeah. Very pleased so, with them. So you want me to, uh, what I'm going to do is put that onto a plate, cover it with aluminum foil because the steam will finish cooking the onion some. Okay. I trust and, you. And uh, I'll let it cook for a little bit. You mm -hmm. go in there and then once you're done with that, you got to deglaze the pan. Deglaze Pete the got pan. the joke, by the way. Who got the joke? I don't know. Um, anyway. All right, follow me. Yeah, glad it wasn't cats make great sausage. <laughs> oh, I can make a terrible joke of that. All right, so. so uh, I just gonna, wanted to. Hold on one second. I'm going to lower this, and you'll just have to move accordingly. Okay? Okay. Oh, are you leaving? Uh, is everything in there? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Is that live on the computer right now? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Why is it moving all around? Um, this, is, this is a holster I made for uh, a person. This was, can we see this? Anyway, I hope you can see it because I'm looking at the monitor. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. It's a uh, HK P2000 SK. It's like a carry. A more compact version of the uh, P2000, and he wanted the TLR7A compact. They have a compact version of that now. So I don't have the light on it yet because it's still in the mold in the shop because he wants three holsters. But I just want to show you something. Um, sometimes, even though you have a light bearing holster, um, sometimes you can get away with using the holster without the light. In this case, he can because of the way the trigger guard shaped. They all shaped like that. So that causes a little snap of tension. See that? So that's pretty cool knowing that. So he can, this is holster's more versatile. Uh, he's just lucky that that can do that. It doesn't happen all the time, but I just want to show him if he's watching, you can use these holsters with or without the light. That's pretty cool. Same with this one. So that's the inside. Here's an outside I did for him. 
And same thing, no light. It's got the spread trigger guard. And even without the light, he can use it. So I don't, you know, I don't think that all the light holsters will do that. I guess the HK, the way the trigger guard is, it, it helps you because you can do that. Uh, I also like to show the in view. All the patches I got this past month, people sent me. Uh, there's Upper Chichester, K9 unit. There's Darby Township. There's Milbourne. Rhode Island Sheriff. Right? Mm -hmm. And Water Power Officer. He sent me that. And that. Hello. I'm not good with this. What's that say? Anzonia. Anzonia. Looks like it says Anzonia. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I received that, so let me show. And I know 40 caliber ain't the hottest shit right now, but I just always like to bring this out once in a while. Uh, Bill gave me this. Gave it to me, Mr. 40, 45 Bullet. He passed not too long ago. This is the uh, Glock 22 RTF with the so fish scale slides. They're, uh, you don't see them anywhere, really. They're pretty rare. And I just want to show that if you do get a 40 caliber, um, the Beretta 96 and the Glock 22, from what I experienced, sh shoot it really nice. It's not real snappy with those guns. So that's it for that. This is packaging for the Bunker Gun Shop, and I'll be dropping these off. This is for a Glock 17 X300. Be, Glock, be dropping them off this week to them. So, um, um, JG SRX6 says, probably eight-ish years ago, I went to the gun shop you used to work at to buy ammo. I saw you, but I thought it would be weird to say how I knew you. So, of mm -hmm. course, Small Money wants to know. How? Do tell, you know, how do you know him? Why was it weird? So he knew oh. you from the Armory Channel. I was at the uh, Dodge dealer yesterday getting my, was it yesterday? Friday. Getting my oil changed and my free car inspection. I, lo I love when they say, uh, your car inspection is free when you buy here, you know, life of the car. But what they don't tell you is they charge you $55 for the emissions. Is that free? Yeah, no, that's not that's free. That's not free, right? No. Okay, I'll just check it. All right, so, so I, I'm trying to check so I'm not in your way. I have a story. Someone came walking over to me, and uh, he recognized me, and he said he knew me from my channel. So it happens. Every once in a while it happens. All right, now look. So you are going to take that wonderful, look how good that looks. Mm -hmm. You're going to take plate. that, put it on that plate, and you're going to cover it with aluminum foil so it sits there. We'll move it off to the side once you're done. Okay. okay. Like so. Smile money. I was hoping for a really strange story, but, you know, that's not weird that he made it from the Armory Channel. There's a plenty of them. All right, now I'll put it back here. Yep, that's there. Don't we need heat to deglaze or you yeah, don't need heat? We, we will. Alright. So cover that with aluminum foil. Alright. And then you can move it over by the colanders. Okay. The smallest. <laughs> ah, small money says now if you meet him at a massage parlor in Chinatown, now that would be a story. Yeah, five dollar, five dollar. <laughs> I go to South Jersey. Yeah. It's oh, more, I know. It's more private. I know. Now what? Should we get the pot? Isn't that where your ex lives in South Jersey? Uh. So you want to take? You want to turn that up? This? Yeah. So you're still visiting her, huh? No, I've lived in South Jersey for 15 put, years. Put the <laughs> chicken broth in. Now before it's hot? Yeah. Put the right. chicken broth in. There we go. <clears throat> you put that in the sink. Oh, okay. 
So you want to deglaze the pan, you know what it means to deglaze the pan? Yes, I do. It's hard to explain now. Okay, get on. Uh, I want to scrub all the caramelization in, into the, the uh, broth so it mm -hmm. makes it like a kind of like a light gravy, right? For flavor. Yep. See, so we're deglazing. Mm -hmm. So get all that off. While you're doing that, I'll put the pasta in. Okay. It's off. No. Okay. There you go. It's off. Okay. Cream to stick. So try to get as much off the bottom as you can. Oh, I got it. We need time for the commercial. Okay, so go ahead and uh, put your heavy whipping cream that's right there. How much? You're just going to pour it all in. Okay. Yeah, it's a pint. Oh, this is like spectacular. So go ahead and stir. You want to bring that up to a boil, but keep on stirring so it doesn't stick. Once it gets to the boil, we're going to reduce it to a simmer. Oh, wow, it smells good, I'll tell you that. Mm hmm. Mm. I don't forget about um, Bunker Gunshot in Bucks County. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal amount of inventory. Like, I'm talking guns. I'm not talking holsters and gun parts and stuff like that. I'm talking like guns. Tons mm -hmm. of tons. Um, Carl D Disney said, if I remember correctly, the regular HK P2000 has a different trigger guard than the SK version. Is that correct? Maybe. He's probably right. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Mel Speck look. said, Pete, one day wonderful wife. I feel like one now. It's freaking hot in here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So we, how much of this are we going to wait for that to boil? So you want that to come to a boil, make sure it doesn't stick. We've got it turned up high. Pasta is cooking. We're making rigatoni's with uh, it. Rigatoni's, the short ones. Yeah. Save some of that cream for the fruity pebbles. Yes, yes, you know him well. He has used half and half and heavy cream and fruity pebbles. You know, you know how that happened? He did it by accident. Did you guys see this mm. that he got? Yeah, he actually brought Mrs. Butterworth's Fruity Pebble flavored syrup. Pancake syrup. He has a Fruity you, Pebble addiction. You know uh, how that happened with the half and half? How? Because nobody nobody tells me when we're out of milk. So I came home jonesing for cereal. No milk. At all. I tried that. I'm just doing it. And it, and it uh, Brought me to a new level level of love. Yeah. <laughs> Mill Spec said, "Got to start making holsters for uh, tactical spatulas." I like that idea. Anything I, I can put in that machine, I can make a holster for. All right, did we boil yet? No, well, we're just starting to it's boil. It's simmering. Okay. It's simmering. Uh, so in a hot second. That it's starting to boil, so oh, no. the oh, breakfast of champions. It's not, it's not easy to time this kind of cooking when you're videoing because mm -hmm. there's no stopping and going with the camera, you know. Yeah, it's just yeah, you're live. Mm -hmm. There's Lucy. So, what's our next video going to be about? Do we have any plans for that yet? So, we postponed the um, we postponed the um. The one, the draw, the draw, draw techniques, ca mm -hmm. conceal carry draw techniques. Mm -hmm. um, we postponed that because you were waiting to see if you can get a guest. Right. So we're waiting for that. Yeah. Well, haven't heard from him, so I don't know if he really wants to or not. If not, well, uh, I know a lot of people that do that. Actually, one of my good, good friends. I think it's a shame he's overseas. He would have been great to have over here. 
Um, yeah, so we have if his, dad, his dad's watching, he knows what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so that, right now, we're kind of... If anybody has any ideas for uh, other live shows, yeah. let us know. Yeah, that's good. Always so, looking for ideas. Yep, you run out of ideas. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brad ordered the holster yesterday for his new P365XL. I think you're going to be real happy with that weapon and, of course, Pete's Armor Guard holster. That's one of the orders we is got it, yesterday. All right. Is it out or in? Uh, Brad, is that out or in? Not sure. I'll have to ask. See if he answers. Uh, Carl oh. says, I don't hear any Frank ass in the background. My Sunday memories always included Sunday with Sinatra, with the aroma of garlic and gravy throughout the house. Not oh, my God, that sounds like wonderful memories. Not allowed. Yeah. Explain that. Copyrights. Yeah. So stupid. Ooh, mana got. Someone says cook mana got. You can only, or you can have 30 seconds of it, which is why I call it. So, Brad, I think, I, I, I know it's done. Actually, it's done. Well, I know you were working on that uh, HK... Well, that's a that's a big job because it's three holsters. It's don't give it away. It's not, you know. Well, how's that giving anything away? What are you talking about? I think that, it was a gift. Um, I. I. Well, all right, you're right. You got it. Well, I already showed it. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, he said left hand outside left hand. <laughs> it's an outside lefty. That's what Brad ordered. South Paul. Yeah, I think, right. I think I did it already. Nice. Well, Brad, that'll be on the way to you. Yeah. Um, a Beretta 92 would be fitting in the background. Oh, I got the 92X upstairs. That thing's sweet. All right. So uh, mm -hmm. I turn that down since you got it to a good boil. Mm -hmm. We're going to add that cheese that's right there, that whole container. The whole container. Yeah. So okay. I what I did was because there was three open packages of different pieces. Let me loosen it up first. Um, you always want to do this in case it's clumped together. It's little, th it's the little things. So put that in. Wow. Stir. Damn, it smells good. Mm-hmm. It does. So we had Big Daddy's Barbecue last night, and damn, that place is good. Uh, what is that, Ridley? Ridley. So yeah. we need the sun-dried tomatoes. So oh, oh shit. my God. So you do. Not me. Because you're Russian. I'm trying to get the lumps out. All right, you know what? Yeah. Sun-dried tomatoes. Yeah. All of them? Yeah. Hi, yeah. booger. The whole thing. Mm -hmm. No. Hi, gorgeous. My shoes. Okay. Go ahead, you get my shoes. Oh, that's good. All right, so now we're going to start adding the spinach. Thank you. Oh, we're like that. We're going to start adding in the spinach. I rinsed it already. Oh, you want to wear them? Yeah. There we go. Look, we'll see little Taria. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> She's got one chew. I've got the other. So, all the spinach? Yeah. So, you do, I do it half at a time. I do half and let it... Um, you want to see it? Show people what that looks like in there? Or? Yeah. So you got Parmesan cheese and sun dried tomatoes, heavy cream, right? Mm hmm. The chicken stock. With chicken the stock, which is broth. Uh, there it is. Okay. So someone wants to know where can I find the Sig C3 tallow? What's that? Mill spec edition. Sig. C3 Kalo. So I do half, I let it cook down, then I do the other half, by the way. Okay. This looks too good. 
Um, real quick, NJ I, Jamie says the video is blurry. Um, it's looking clear here on my camera. Maybe the steam. Yeah, maybe the steam. Oh, doing it. oh well, now it's definitely blurry. <laughs> how about now? Yeah, so let me know how it is now. Um, so someone's talking Ow. about how he loved your build videos. When you took the 870 with a 22 inch barrel into a home defense gun was awesome. Yeah, I know. Uh, you can't do those good. anymore. Yeah, that came out good. Yeah. Well, caught it down to 18 and a half. We uh, deburred it, squared it off, blowed it. Came out real good. That's an old one, man. Mm hmm. Yeah, you still want that. That's an old one. Um, so, am I mixing this at all? Okay, they're saying it's good now. That is. Not good there. okay yeah so you're stirring that letting the spinach cook down add yeah. the rest of the spinach it's just a lot of spinach to put in all at once but right. you know, spinach cooks down to nothing i have this all ready for you before. you can add a little salt and pepper once you taste it okay um, i'm putting the rest of the spinach in yeah mm -hmm. I forgot to tell you, we already had spinach in here. Yeah, that was from the last one. Yeah. Um, have you seen the sign? Uh, hold on one second of that. Alright, that's a lot of spinach. But it does cook down to nothing. Yeah, it does. Alright. So I got the garlic bread in, that's the pasta, you'll check it in two minutes. Uh, Millspec said, have you seen the size of weapons education head lately? The size of what? Weapons education head. The size of his head? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Need to clarify that question, Millspec. I have no idea what you're talking about. By the way, while he's cooking, I'm sitting back enjoying well, my twisted tea. I'm very aware of who he is. No, I said to clarify the question. I wasn't giving that to oh, you to what have. What handed it to me for? I wasn't. I was showing them oh, what oh, I'm oh, drinking you while me. you're cooking. I thought you were handing it to me. Uh -uh. What do I get? I'm thirsty. I'm dying of thirst. All right, so um, does the leather texture Kydex come in any other colors besides black? Yeah, you can get it in brown. Oh. Is it like the FDE, the Coyote Brown? It's like, or uh, like, like, a, like a brown wallet. Like uh, it looks like leather. Like it's not FDE. Um, uh huh. Yeah, it's just. We can turn that down some, honey. It's really boiling away. All right. It's nice looking, you know. I've seen it in black and brown. I haven't seen it in anything else. But that doesn't mean they don't have. They don't have it. So we're going to take that sausage that we covered with foil. Yep. Dump it in there. Dump it in there. Mix it all up. So if you were interested in that uh, Kydex in that brown color, all you need to do is just message us. Email. Email. Sorry. Yeah, no. don't message. He saves that for other things. Yeah. Um... I lost my train of thought. So get yeah, that all mixed up. Something. I forgot. Did you try the pasta? See if the pasta's good? Well, we both like it the same way, so. Yeah, it looks good. So that just means to simmer for a little bit. The pasta mm -hmm. needs to cook. I don't like soggy pasta. I like it, uh, you know, not real firm. I don't know. Everyone likes it different. So while you're doing that, I'm going to show you what that looks like. That's going to get put over the rigatoni. You shouldn't show that because Ed knows where I live. <laughs> well, he didn't bring you that uh, hoagie last week. He didn't oh, yeah. have his car. It's cheap. So, it's done. Uh, you can go yeah. ahead and drain that. Yeah, I'll have you all set up there. I'm draining that. Yep, drain right. that in the double whammy. And then I have the bowl. Let me get my rag from other pot holder. There we go. 
And my glasses are going to fog up. Uh -huh. I want to get two plates because I don't want to get the camera yeah, all steamy will, again. <laughs> Pasta. Oh. Yeah, so just put half in the bowl because it's a lot to mix, you know what I mean? Damn. Half in what bowl? Oh, this bowl. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're getting that close? Yeah. Damn. Want to make sure all the water is out of it so it doesn't dilute the flavor. So as much as you can. Sorry, I don't mean to be in your way. I'm just trying to keep this moving while he's doing that. Uh, he said his car is, is back this week. Spinach makes me a strong finish. <laughs> ah, all right there, Popeye. So how am I doing now? I'm putting this in there, right? Uh, just give it a second. I'd like, okay. is the spinach nice and soft? Uh, let me see. Because you want the spinach really yeah, cooked. Yeah, I don't want it. I mean, I don't mind it at all, but that's soft. Okay. That's a big thing. How am I going to pour that? So paper? we used the ladle last time, and we put it in. And then mix, and then put the rest of the pasta and the rest of that and mix. Um... Thank you for introducing me to Captain Crunch in half and half. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Don't do it. You're going to get addicted to it. All right, so go ahead and mm. give that pasta a good mix. And the only reason why I'm telling him what to do is Pete's never made this. I'm, I've am i made it. He hasn't. Yeah, my, He's doing my, a great my job. My cooking skills or menu recipes are very limited. I don't have like that. That's why people are like, how come you don't do cooking videos? That's because I don't know how to cook anything else. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> so people say that sauce looks fantastic. The spinach is perfect. Good. Perfect. So go ahead and put the rest of the pasta in there. This is mine. Which one's your portion? Yeah. And then put the rest of the sauce on. Get a good mix. I'm going to get you a plate. So you Metal can... handles. Not good. No, no, it's not. I'll get you a plate so you can test taste some. Damn, this bowl is like just made it. Yeah. But the good is all that stuff on the bottom. You need a wooden spatula to scrape all that good out of there. I'm getting the good. All the flavor. Alright. So. Good stuff. That. Yeah. All the flavor. That. That's flavor, that's cheese, it's everything. All right, so a good mix. Mm -hmm. You could use like that special and that kind of toss it like you do a salad. Mm -hmm. I don't want the lens to get all steamy, but you guys can see how it's all nice and mixed. We'll put some on a plate. Let me see if there's any other questions. This friggin' bowl's too small, but it's okay. Hey, it's the biggest bowl. Don't complain. All right. <laughs> and Jay Jamie says, I'm on a diet. I don't know why I torture myself watching this. Because you're hungry. Just eat a little bit. Okay. So if it's all mixed, you can put some on a plate. Take a good test taste. Just a plate? Yeah. Can they see the plate? Oh, Ow. That burner's going to be hot, just like now. Can they see the plate? I'm going to make sure. I'm trying to get oh. you a fork. Yes. I'm trying to get some color in there. we go. Mm-hmm. Color. So, oh, you splooged. Lucy, there's a rigatoni on the floor. All right. it. So um, let's get that's good. And some people like it with crushed red pepper on top, just a little bit. I so I have that sitting right over there for you. I don't like a lot of heat, but just a little, a little pinch. If you don't like crushed pepper, just leave it that's off. That's it. That's all I like. 
So I do garlic bread toast them for you. Let's uh, get a test taste, see how it is. Mm -hmm. A little bit of everything, right? Yeah. I want to see his face. So we're going to yeah, see your face. Yeah, seriously? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Italian food leftovers, I gotta be the best. Mm, yeah, they this is really good the next time too. Um, somebody wants to know if you have any good movie recommendations. Always. So. I seen a, I seen a like low budget movie last night. And, it, you know, the low budget movies ain't real artsy, and, you know. But some of them are very entertaining. It was called uh, The Deep House. I said, oh, let me see what the hell this is about. And it was Prime, Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. It's called The Deep House. It's, I've never seen anything like that. It's really, really cool. So try it out. I'm not going to tell you the way. Just try it. Garlic bread is coming up for the, the picture perfect finish. Look at that. Oh my God. I can't wait to eat. Now, if you guys think that's my portion, you're out of your mind. That is just for the picture. Unless you want it on there, I'm going to eat first. I'll pick the next one. In other words, he's trying mm -hmm. to say his portion is double that. They know. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay, I think you wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, give me that. I like to. I want to personally thank the patrons because they help my holster business grow because I can get more material with those donations and it really you know helps me get ahead of uh what do you call it ahead of the game no but ahead of the um uh, we're gonna they know what i mean ahead of the curve no <laughs> profit profit oh. it helps profit <laughs> <laughs> Carl says he's 40 minutes away just in case there's leftovers. <laughs> Don't you dare come here. <laughs> yeah, Carl, I hate to say, but there won't be a thing left over in that. All right. Go on out, Lucy. So, Pete, you were talking about the Patreon channel. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to find the Patreon link under this video once we're done doing the live. I'll put it under there. Yeah, I haven't put a video up in a little bit, but I will be putting it up soon. The Patreon channel is great because there's no rules, there's no language rules, there's no gun rules. You can just, there's nothing holding you back. You don't have to watch what you say. And, uh... So you can drop S-bombs all the time like yeah, you normally do. naturally. If you drop them naturally. Um, but it's fun over there. It's like a little club of us right now. It's only about 36 of us. But it's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just like whatever videos. It's not dedicated to anything. So... Right. So if you wanted to go ahead and join Patreon, we'll put that link underneath. Right. And you wanted to personally thank... I do. Patreon, so, I mean, there's uh, not a ton of them, so it only take a second. Okay. Uh, Bar, uh, Bart Solomon. I want to thank all these people. Smile Money, which we know that. Big Mac, that's sexy. Rick, thank you, Rick. Uh, Ed, I'm not going to say your last name, Ed. Uh, I, I, the first one, I said the last name. I don't think people, do people care about that? I don't know. I don't you know. Bitch right, yeah. Well, they know who they are because they're on here. They're on. How do you pronounce that one? Cor Corey? Corey? There's a W in there. Yeah. You know who you are. Kurt? <laughs> Rich Richard Wayne. I can do the middle name. RJ? Uh, Carl Michael? Middle name. General Repeating Arms. I think that's a safe one to say. Patrick R. Jonathan S. E. Balmy. I don't care if anyone knows his name. Christopher F. Uh, Daryl T. Brad. We know a little Brad. Jordan Strick. It sucks. You can't say the last nice name because you need permission but you know there might be two johns in here 
Uh, this T Bone, that's an easy one. Please. Jack Ta, for short. Um, Surfing Demon. Okay. There ain't many, so don't get impatient. We got Mac, Mac, sorry, Matt, uh, Jinx, Soldier, James, David C, Douglas, M, Kevin B, Ronnie H. We know Ron, he's a local guy. Jeff, Roy R, Paul, Italian last name, Martin, Vogue, and something. You know you are. Wade, and there's only three more. David, E, Tony, Z, and the grand finale goes to Midway Shooter. <laughs> as always. Nice. So, um, Millspec recommends that you watch the movie Rubber. Rubber? Have you watched that? No. No. Okay. Uh, and then Carl says, is there any other show that you like better than The King of Queens? Uh, man, that's a hard one to beat. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Raymond's good. Raymond's good, but not quite... It ain't a belly laughing show. I mean, it depends on your sense of humor. Like, where else are you going to find the upstairs wife and the downstairs wife? Yeah, or build a fence because you have, oh. a, build a, fence cause you have a, a turtle and it's a runner. <laughs> <laughs> the King, I like the King of Queens. It's just constantly about dieting, weight, people teasing each other. That's why I like That's it. That's funny, yeah. Ryan Chambers, uh, Chambers says, Sup, Pete? Hope you all are doing well. We are hanging. We are... Trying. Trying, trying. So I just want to remind you guys, if you could please hit like on this video and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notifications for when we go live or when Pete posts another video. Uh, the way that YouTube is working now, not everybody gets notified, so you need to make uh -huh. sure you hit that bell so you get the notifications. But please hit like, share this video with your friends. Uh, make sure you check out the Armory channels other videos that we have up and 1200 of them <laughs> yeah and uh armorguardholsters.com if you have any questions about a holster you can always reach out to pete directly through that well, here, here's the difference real quick um most holsters are made for popular guns uh most holsters are made for popular guns with popular lights but if someone has like a frankenstein gun with a frankenstein light I may I can make it for them. That's the difference. I don't think too many other companies do. Right. That. So they need to send the send the yeah, light just, in just, to you. Yeah, most of the time I'll have the gun mold. Right. But I won't have every light. So if they send me the light, I can do it, which I just did for this guy. If they're local and it's a gun mode I I don't have, they can drop everything off and I'll have back same day. Um, so any plans to make flashlight or handcuff holders? I well do. Chad I already do. Yeah. Make everything. Flashlight combo, uh, pistol combo, mag combo, uh, handcuffs. You make handcuffs, yeah. Yeah, see, the thing about the handcuff holsters are, they're not going to fit perfectly because every time you close them handcuffs, you don't remember what tooth it was on. So the size is going to change every time you put your handcuffs in there. So you got to remember, they're, go they're going to go in and out a little rough, but that that's just how it's going to be. I mean, even the, uh, you know, the factory injected molded ones they're all the same way mm -hmm. but um just to let you know that right most cops already know that so they're not real fussy about the fit well some people might want it for their bedroom well yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. uh today with simon and me he says hi guys well hello thanks for tuning in um but it is a memorial day holiday weekend mm -hmm. and um this pasta is calling our name yep it's looks cold. really really yummy um, this sauce is very flavorful. Pete, you did a great job. I just followed your commands. Yeah. Um, yeah. so thanks for tuning in, guys. Pete, have anything else to rant about? I knew there was one thing you said you were going to rant about. Really? Yeah. What? Orders. Orders? I'm always ranting about orders. Okay. I need more. So the other good news is we didn't have a train come by. So you don't have to rant about the effing train coming by all the time. It happened twice in a row so far. 
Yeah, not the train did not come by last time. Either. Yeah, yeah. So good stuff. Um, so make sure you stay tuned. You can check out the front page, the home page of Armor Guard Holsters. That's where we put the list of what we're doing for YouTube Live. Mm -hmm. If you have any suggestions, make sure you guys email them in to me. Um, that way we can see if we can get that on there. Speaking of the train guy, he blows that horn way too long. He is a jerk off. If he's watching, you're an asshole. <laughs> Like ridiculous amount of time. There's a rant. Um, yeah. So, whoop. oh wow, just subscribing now from the Philippines. Well, glad Thank to see you. that you're here. Oh my, I do have a couple of quick questions. So Brian said I would love uh, love to get you to make a holster for my speed loaders for his uh, Chapa Rhino 357 Magnum. So yeah, a did. couple episodes back, we actually showed the triple triple holster. Yeah. So Brian, just reach out to Pete. I know you have his email address. Yeah, um, I, just so did just a triple, I just did a triple holster for speed loaders. Yeah, yeah. It came out nice. Real nice. Uh, Sparrow yeah. AG said, is there anywhere to shoot steel targets around where we live? Probably Northern Chester County, gun range. It's like 45 minutes, it's near Phoenixville, but you gotta become a member. And it's, it's, it's all right. Um, sweet, um, not Sweetsboro, New Jersey, uh, damn it. There's a place in South Jersey, but just you might gotta be careful with guns you bring to that range, as you know. They shoot steel there too, damn it. Oh, it's in Winslow, that's right, Winslow. And there's one in Elmer too. South Jersey. It's like 15 minutes from the bridge, Walt Whitman Bridge. Look into that. Keep your hollow points at home. Yeah, absolutely. Keep All right, guys. Everything. It's been a pleasure. Pete, you good? Anything else? No, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. You're hungry. Oh, Lower Providence Gun Club. Thank you, Smile Money. Oh, yes, it does look very yummy, and we are going to sign off so we can go eat. We are starving. Thanks, everybody. Have a safe holiday weekend. Make sure you uh, watch your back. Don't drink and drive. Drink, then go driving. No. Drink, then call an Uber or a Lyft. That's well, called a joke. Responsible. All right. All right, thanks. Yes, good eats. See you later. Bye.